Welcome back. The final for the 9th Provincial Aboriginal Science Fair Quebec 2009 was held in Wasganish this week. It's a Cree community north of Quebec. Teams from 15 First Nations and Inuit communities took part in this exciting exhibition. For the youth, it is a great opportunity to show their communication skills and their entrepreneurial skills. Danielle Rochette reports. Tricia, Gavin, Tanya, Kevin and Mackenzie all took a lot of pleasure and pride in describing their research to EPTN. My project is Biodiesel, what's behind it? It's an extension of my project from last year. My project's about um, like an egg floating in salt water. I wanted to find out uh, which airplane wing would uh, lift the maximum weight and so I built this wind tunnel. Uh, this is how a hovercraft can float off the ground. And this is what we're trying to make that can float and push at the same time. So, 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 that's what, what, so that's what it is, this thing. For Marcel Bracoupé, head judge of the 14 professional judge panel, the experience is unique. Actually, the importance for me uh, for this type of uh, event um, is definitely to, to promote the sciences uh, with the youth and allow also the opportunity of youth uh, to visit other communities, to see what it's like uh, in other communities. Definitely, uh, we see a lot of enthusiasm here today. Uh, we see stars and a lot of the eyes of the youth. Uh, excellent. It's excellent turnout here today. The Cree School Board, in partnership with the Quebec Aboriginal Science and Engineering Association, distribute more than 20 awards of excellence in five categories. A total of $6,300 were also given to the winners. Three winners will have the great pleasure of representing Quebec in the Canada-wide science fair this May in Winnipeg. Pamela Dicion and Dale bejin worked hard for this prize, and their project is certainly a concern in all Aboriginal communities. Alors, on voulait savoir pourquoi les, aut les Autochtones étaient plus à risque de développer le diabète. L'histoire de nos ancêtres nous, nous démontre pourquoi ça se transmet de génération en génération. Et pourquoi ça augmente toujours, c'est parce que le monde ne fait pas attention. On espère gagner là-bas, on espère représenter le Québec au maximum. Faire un beau voyage. Oui, faire un beau voyage. Tania, who wants to become an engineer, will also represent Québec with a project on the Bernoulli's theory. Ça fait un mois et demi de travail que je viens de que ça terminer aujourd'hui. Euh, J'ai hâte d'aller à Winnipeg aussi, là, de continuer, puis j'espère euh, pouvoir me rendre plus loin que si c'est possible. At the 2009 Aboriginal Provincial Science Fair, the students were invited to be the leaders of tomorrow and find new technologies that are environmentally sound. Daniel Rochette for EPTN National News, Waskaganish, Quebec.